Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the field of view, focal length, and film width in our cameras. The first two options, field of view and focal length, are related. If we change the value in one of the controls, the other one will be affected too. The field of view is the maximum area that the camera can focus on capture and is represented in degrees. The default value is 45. If we change it to 80, we can see how we get a wide angle of view. And if we decrease it, for example, to 20, we will get a narrow angle of view. The focal length is the distance between the lens and the plane of the sensor, and it's represented in millimeters. This value is going to determine the angle of view or how much of our scene is going to be visible. The values here work in the opposite way of the field of view. If we increase the focal length parameter, we're going to get a narrow angle of view. We can see how the objects get closer to the camera. And if we decrease the value, we're going to get a wide angle of view. The objects will look further away and we will have more distortion in our view. One common question is which focal length to use. This usually depends on the main subject or the type of view we want to capture. We can start with the standard lens, which is 35 to 55 millimeters. But one of the advantages of 3D is that we can experiment with the focal length value and quickly adjust it depending on our scene. The next option is film width or sensor size. The default value is 36 millimeters, which is the same as a full frame sensor. This is really important in professional cameras and one of the first things we need to look when we're buying one, as this can affect the resolution, dynamic range, and even the quality of the photos. But in 3D scenes, this value is mainly used to match parameters and output of real life cameras. It is also possible to control the amount of depth of field with this parameter, but Corona have easier ways to control this. We're going to use the zoom parameter when we need to zoom in without changing the field of view focal length or camera position. This can be helpful if we want to crop the images or do a close-up shot of the project. This parameter is also used when we are matching the camera with real life footage. The only thing we need to take into consideration is that this value can affect the depth of field of the image. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.